What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Milo's Quest. This game was developed by Light Up Games and published by Rattalaka Games. This game is an easy 15 minute completion or a platinum trophy. On top of that, it's only $4.99. As usual with most Rattalaka games, we do not need to complete the full game, we only need to complete about half of the game. So first thing we want to do is start up a game with default settings. So just go ahead and press start. We can press A to skip through the dialogue. Once the game starts, you can go ahead and move forward. Bones will pop out of the bushes after you walk past them. You can go ahead and pick up a bone for a 30 gamer score achievement. Next you want to go ahead and keep going up. And then you're going to see the workers glove. Go ahead and pick up that glove for another achievement or trophy. I also want to mention you do not need to pick up any more bones. Now you press A to move the boxes. We need to push all three boxes over their switches. This is the only puzzle we need to complete. The achievement pops for solving your first puzzle. We can go ahead and quit back to the main menu. We're going to start up a new game. You can delete your old save by pressing Y. This time we want to go to easy difficulty and we want to go to adventure only. This is going to make it so we do not need to complete any of the puzzles moving forward. So now we're actually playing for real now. We're going to move up once we start the game. We can go ahead and skip the bones. We already got that achievement and we do not need to collect any bones moving further. Pick up the glove. We already got the achievement for picking it up. However, we need to pick it up again. The glove is what enables us to move the boxes. You do not need to move any boxes moving forward. You can just move these two. That is the last box that you have to move. We can go ahead and head over to the right hand side, go down, head over to the right, and we're going to keep heading straight up. And what we're doing is we're going to go find the silver key. There's also a gold key in this section. We get achievements for getting both of them. So grab the gold key. You're going to get an achievement for 15 gamer score. Keys also open chests. Get your first golden key. Nice. You just want to go through the maze, follow where I'm going. The way it works is the gold keys unlock the chests. You really don't need to unlock any of them. There's not any achievements associated with the chests. And the silver keys unlock silver gates. We do need to collect silver keys to be able to advance to the two bosses that we need to defeat. So you do get that achievement or trophy for collecting your first silver key. So once you get both of those keys, we can go ahead and exit this area. So just go back through the maze exactly where you came from. Head over to the left and the exit is on the left hand side. Once you get into this area, we're going to go to the top and press A to open the silver gate. That's going to use our first silver key. Now we want to ignore the ghost enemies for now and head over to the right hand side. Right now we cannot defeat any enemies, we do not have any power ups. Once you get into this next room, we're going to keep heading over to the right hand side. Again, skipping all of the ghosts. There is going to be a maximum heart power up to increase our health. Make sure to pick that up for a 90 gamer score achievement or getting a heart extension. Next, we're going to keep heading up. Make sure you exit through the top. And now we find the strong helmet. Now we can press X to dash or attack. So now we can finally defeat some ghosts. So head back down. We can go ahead and skip these ghosts for now. Go ahead and head over to the left hand side. Now in this room, you want to make sure to kill all of the ghosts. If you run through these bushes, generally it drops food. You can pick it up for extra life. Make sure that the ghost hits you once, and if you recover a heart by collecting some food, you get an achievement for doing that. You just want to make sure that you revive one of your hearts by eating some food. We also get an achievement for 90 gamer score for killing our first ghost. Head up and to the right hand side to collect a maximum stamina increase. That's going to get us another achievement called I was getting tired for 90 gamer score for getting a stamina extension. There is a gold key over to the left hand side. You can collect it if you want to. However, we do not need to because we do not need to open any chests. Now in this next section, we need to defeat all of the ghosts to open the purple gate. That is how you open the purple gates. To open the purple gates, you need to defeat all of the enemies in that area. So once you defeat all of the ghosts in this section, it's going to open the purple gate to the left. Go ahead and head through there. There's going to be a ton of ghosts in this room. We need to defeat all of them to open the next purple gate. You also should be getting your achievement for killing 10 ghosts. That is for 90 gamer score. Now if you die, it's no big deal. 
game saving is really forgiving. If you die, you just start at the door that you entered through. So just make sure that you kill all of these ghosts. You may even get your achievement for killing 20 ghosts. That's called is killing ghosts counted as murder for 90 gamer score. That is our last achievement or trophy related to killing ghosts. Once you go through the purple gate, just keep heading all the way over to the left. You're going to find another exit. Just head straight forward and grab the silver key and head back. You just need to head back where we came from. So head over to the right hand side where all the ghosts were. You can go ahead and move past them unless you want to kill them if you haven't got your 20 ghost achievement yet. Now we need to head over to the top and we can use a silver key to fight the first boss. Now this boss is pretty easy to defeat. All we need to do is keep dodging the boss until the fire goes out and then he's going to start looking like Kirby and all we need to do is hit him three times. So just dash at him three times with the X button and then eventually the boss will die and we will unlock an achievement or trophy for defeating our first boss. Every time you defeat a boss they drop a power up so now we got the binoculars after defeating that first boss. So we do get a achievement for 30 gamer score for getting the binoculars. Now you want to head over to the left of the boss and then go up. This next room we want to go ahead and kill all of the ghosts because we need to open up a purple gate. So just kill all of the ghosts that you see and then eventually the purple gate up top will unlock. Head over through that purple gate. In this room we need to head up to the upper left hand side of this section. There is a gold key. Again you don't need to pick up the gold keys. You can if you want to. But head over through that left gate. Now in this section we want to skip the enemies and simply get that silver key right there and head back where we came from. Now we got one of the two keys that we need to be able to get to the second boss. So we're just going to head down and to the right. You can kill the ghosts if you want. They are in your way in this little small passage right here. Um, however we do not need to kill them. In this next section just keep heading down to the bottom. There is a door straight to the bottom. And on this one we want to head over to the right hand side and now we are going to end up where we face the first boss, the big marshmallow boo. Keep heading straight to the right. In the next room you want to head up to the upper center. There's going to be a door right there. You do not need to kill all of the enemies, however you can kill them if they're in your way. Once you head through that door we are going to enter our next section, just keep heading up. All of these doors automatically open for us because we're on easy. In this next room you don't need to kill any of the enemies so we can go ahead and skip past them. Just go up and then all the way to the right. Once you get in here just go down and to the left, grab the silver key real quick and then we can go back where we came from. Again we can go ahead and skip through these enemies and what we're doing is we're heading back over to where we faced the first boss. So go through there and then just keep heading all the way down. You'll find another exit. Once you get in here, we're going to head over to the left. The exit is going to be all the way to the left. And now we are back where we faced our first boss. So just head up. That's the only passage we haven't headed down yet. Once you get to this next section, just head all the way up. You're going to see a silver gate. You can press A to go through it. That used the first of the two silver keys that we collected. Keep heading up to the top. You're going to use our second silver key. And then we can go ahead and head through the upper gate to face our second boss. Now the second boss I think is even easier. All you need to do is dash into the pumpkins twice. Once you dash into the two side pumpkins, it'll take the shield off of the main pumpkin. And then we just need to hit the main pumpkin three times to defeat the boss. That is the three against one is not fair achievement for 90 gamer score for defeating the super pumpkin bros. By defeating that boss, we also find the special glasses. Once you pick those up, we are going to get our last achievement or trophy for 40 gamer score called I Can See Things. And that gives us a nice and easy completion or platinum trophy for Milo's Quest. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.